Hi, Shane here. You're watching Sam for God. This is Mark. Check her out. So hi guys, how are you doing? Hi, yeah. <laughs> I'm here today with Rebecca, and we are outside Wembley Park Station. What's the date today? The 11th of May 2016. It's a Wednesday. 4:18. There you go, the time person. Oh my god, last time we did in Paris. It was yes, I know. Time. I was watching your vlog. <laughs> like, oh, I was be on earth. I was just like, yeah, I just couldn't be. Because you know what? I can't tell the time because I was vlogging my right hand, and my watch is there. So I'm just like, how am I meant but to be? You're right handed. I like wearing yeah. my. I, I've always been like that since yeah, I was a I think child. We've had this discussion before. I yeah. Think, we? yeah, and even like I, I've, I've like contemplated changing. Basically, guys, I wear, I wear my. I wear my watch on my right hand slash wrist, um, and I've contemplated changing it because I know like the right way is meant to be the left. But anyway, uh, <laughs> side of point. We are going to see Buster today at yes. Wembley um, Arena, which is very exciting. I love Wembley Arena. It's one of my favourite venues. In fact, I think it's my favourite favourite venue um, in London. The last the time I was here, we saw um, McFly three years ago, almost to the day. It's like three years ago next week. It was like the 18th of May. Was that the first time I saw it with you? Was that, was, the first yeah. time I saw was that your first time seeing McFly? Yeah. Oh, that's so on cute! Because yeah. we went to see them before in uh, Oxford Street. Do you remember that? No, that time was as afterwards. Well? Oh, yeah, that was no, before. no, that was before. That was before yeah. Anyway, so yeah, I, I thought I'd take you along the journey. Don't be sorry. Um, Take a long journey because why not? It's exciting. Buster have reformed together, all three of them, with Charlie included after like many years. And Charlie used to be my favourite member. <laughs> so um, I'm quite excited. It's just weird though, isn't it? It's like, very I still strange. don't know how I feel about it because it's like I've been used to McBuster for two years now. I know. And then it's like, has he just come along because I'm making so much money? Like he signed over all of his rights and everything. I know. But the thing is, I don't care why he's come over. I, I just want to yeah. see them together, so I'm yeah. excited. But you are right. Like who knows what his yeah. intentions are. Um, I'm just excited because I really like Charlie's my favorite member. And I, I, his voice is also my favorite of the three of them. I love his voice. I think a lot of the busted tracks sound better with his voice on them. So but it sounds they also sounded really good with Danny's voice. That's also them. very true because they have very, Danny and Charlie have very similar, like deep kind of manly voices, which is why I like them. Anyway, um, yeah, we'll see you when we're going for dinner first. So yes. yeah, well, guys, look at the oh, size of these brownies. Where's the fuck? Where's oh, over there? Oh my god, these look amazing. And there's like homemade vanilla donuts as well. What do you think? <laughs> Are we getting them? Although <laughs> shortbread oh. cookies. I can't say the between the brownie and the custard donuts. Homemade vanilla custard donuts. What are the how much of these? We haven't even had dinner yet and we're like already thinking of dessert. So guys, we gave in and got a few things from the lovely dessert place that we saw. I got what did I get? I got a um chocolate donut actually. Custard chocolate donut, which I'm very excited about. I didn't even see them at first, but when I realized it was chocolate as well as vanilla, I was like, yeah, that's happening. And um, this one here, if I can show it to you, is a peanut butter brownie, which, oh my God, guys, I love peanut butter and I love chocolate and I love brownies, so I can't wait. And we've got like a table book for food for dinner in like half an hour, but I'm gonna eat one of these before that. <laughs> it's just gonna happen. What did you get, Rebecca? I know you've just eaten it. Is it good? Chocolate brownie. Is it nice? Yay! And what was the other thing you got? A millionaire shortbread. Okay, so you just you decided to go with your brownie first. I might but go for my. You can see my... that big thing of mint in it. Ah. Oh. See, so guys, I'm not a big fan of mint and chocolate, but the chocolate bit looks great. I think I'm gonna have to go with my brownie as well then, because you're using no. the brownie, and I'll have my donut afterwards. Moment of truth, guys. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> so we are in this restaurant called <laughs> Jimmy's. Jimmy's World Buffet. Jimmy's World Buffet. Um, recommended by Rebecca herself. No, no, than Rebecca. And it's the O2 one. Okay, she's been to. We haven't been to this one either of us, uh, which is in Wembley, of course. But apparently, it's got it's a World Buffet basically. It's got food from all around the world. That means car buy food. Yay! I knew you'd like that. Of course you'd like that. The Mexican, Chinese. Um, Salad, even a salad bar if you want to be healthy, but I don't want to be healthy today. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Thanks, guys. Rebecca's already got her food, but I've just come here to have a look at the food on offer in different places, different countries around us. The Chinese one, Mexican over there, Italian. Um, it looks good. Everything looks really good. I don't even know what I fancy, to be honest, because I could eat any of them. So it's a bit... Well, there's too many options. You're like, what do I go for? So, yeah. Hmm. Here's a good kind of food here. Hello. Um, I'm just going to show you some of the food anyway. Um, I think Rebecca, Rebecca got Mexican, of course, but it was only her first plate. She's going to come back for more. I think that's what she got. Some nachos and 
some Mexican stuff and oh there's so everything smells really nice as well guys I don't know what I'm gonna go there's a chicken here hmm I think I'm gonna go for Mexican as well for now and then get some Italian later on or Chinese I don't know you'll see this is what I went for guys I've got my apple juice as well Rebecca's kind of already finished her first plate was it good? Yeah, it was. The chili was a little bit spicy. Okay, the chili from carne. Yeah. Because I got that as well, but I filled it with cheese now, so you know, probably all. I love that, yeah. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I love the pattern as well. I tried to make it look good, but then when the cheese added in, got added in, it kind of went a bit messy, but I'm you looking forward to it. You put grated cheese on as well, or just cheese? Sauce? I didn't see. Where's the grated oh, cheese? As well at the sa Have you got sour cream on there? No! <laughs> Should I come with you? Yeah. Are you sure you can eat Oh, yeah, I'll just leave you something. Um, I missed all of most of the stuff. What is this? <laughs> you know how much sour cream is going to be added in a second? A lot of it. Where should I put it? In the middle. <laughs> Just going to do some more, you know? This is so bad. How much do you want? Just this fine. I think, I think that's fine. I think that's alright. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Guys, I'm already like so full. I don't know if I can go for another place, but I kind of want to because I want to try some new food. I really want to try some Chinese and Italian. But I, I literally already have my own. I can't eat anymore. Also, look at this amazing view. It was raining earlier, like half an hour ago, but it's quite nice and sunny now. So that's from the stadium over there. Very lucky with them. Oh, hey, they made it from scratch for me. Did they? They waited yeah. quite a while. Yeah. So this is Rebecca's second you. dish. What is Chinese. it? Chinese. So I've got a stir fry and I chose some noodles, some chicken, some bean sprouts, some peppers. That's so cool. Mushrooms. And then I've just got some corn crackers and a bit of Lovely. sauce. Yay. And this is my second dish. As you can see guys, I like a lot of uh, carbs. Carbs are my favourite. I also love a lot of cheese. That's macaroni and cheese. So. I'm looking forward to this. I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish it or not, but I will try my very best. These are some like chicken wings, by the way, if you couldn't tell. Sam can't eat ice cream very well. I can. But she can't eat it very well. And it always ends up on the floor in a right mess. Check out her Epcot vlog if you want to see what. I'm like completely full, guys. But I could not resist. There's a chocolate fountain and a freshly made waffle, so um, yeah, and marshmallows as well, which I love. So this is happening right now. <laughs> Guys, the food is finally over and it's finally time for Busted. And this is where we're sitting, Block D somewhere, which I'm very excited about. This is Wembley again. The weather's lovely and like cool and it's still light, even though it's like nearly 8 o'clock, would you say? 20 to 8. 20 to 8. Uh, we are going to go inside now and the support act actually for Busted apparently is Emma Blackery, YouTuber. And we just as well. Is that a band? Yeah. Okay, so. We're gonna go and check them out as well. You feel overwhelmed? Yeah. It's been like ages since I last went to a concert. It's just like, it's just a bit Yeah, it's been a long time since I've been to Wembley, like a big concert. I went to see Shane Tyler a few weeks ago. But um, this is the, um, I don't even know if you can hear me, but this is the merchandise place. Hello! Hello! <laughs>
Okay, this is a uh, in the song with Ruth David. <laughs> Thank you. 
everybody going up and down like crazy. Thanks so much for coming tonight. Okay, welcome, James. It's 2016. Bunch of his back bitches. Arena, which is over here, and it's nice and colourful, although you can't really see it because of the lights. Um, it's like 20 past 10. Yeah, 20 past 10. My time person. 19 past. And uh, I, I felt really hot in there. It was a good concert. Good That's fun. That's why I wore this, because I knew I'd get really hot. Yeah. Well, the yeah, only I've got thing my jacket is here. because it's like a dress and not shorts, my thighs were sticking together. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> TMI. So, what do you think? Yeah, I, I enjoyed it. Yeah, it was good. It was, oh, cool. it was probably what I expected of it, mm. to be honest. Yeah. Well, it didn't wow me. No, I wasn't wow. Did it? I think it was just like a good uh, trip down memory lane. Honest, being very memory. honest. And it was really good. To, oh no, it was very good to see Charlie on there, um, up on stage and stuff. It was good. And um, they sang pretty much all their hits, all their singles. But they sang 3 a.m. towards the end, which was really good because it's one of my favourites. And I was worried that they wouldn't sing it because it was like literally the second to last song they sang. Um, so that made me happy because that's one of their singles and uh, you know it's just a very underrated song I think um, but they didn't sing any they, they sang quite a few new songs didn't they mm. uh, the, the band have written quite a few new songs the which, first song coming home yeah um, that was the only one you've heard but I've never yeah, heard any of them so I'm guessing it looks like it that they're going to be keeping together and staying together and maybe releasing a new album yeah it, it looks like it by the sounds of it which um, like, I would have preferred if they sang some of their old non-singles because I used to be such a big like Buster fan before I became an even bigger McFly fan but like, I used to know all their songs, Selena, not just, not just their singles, but like all their casual songs like She Wants To Be Me, Lose A Kid, even Britney, that's not a single, but you like Britney as well, the song. And Nerdy. And Nerdy, Nerdy's one of my favourite songs, and I really was hoping that they'd sing it because Charlie's voice is really good on it. Because they sang that one that busted, so you'd think they'd definitely sing Yeah, exactly. Them. Exactly, but it was still good, it was really good, in fact. And McFly were there, I'm glad I saw them, and um, it was first night at all, so if you're going, please comment down below and let me know what you thought, because... It's fun, it's, it, I, I felt like a teenager again, like 13 or something, so that was cute. Okay guys, so I'm at home now as you can tell. It is half past 11 at night, quite late, um, and I've just been reading um, the programme, because i got a programme, the Busted programme. I've not got the whole thing yet, but it's got quite a bit of information about like when Charlie left and stuff, and it, it, it looks like they're being quite honest about the whole situation and how they're older now and wiser and they understand each other better, and I mean it's, it's good, it's good to know that you know when you become older it's easier to get along with people i think that's just something that people know um <laughs> wise message of the day by sam anyway so it was a good concert like don't know i really i really enjoyed it um i did tell rebecca though that like because mcfly and bust are very similar groups i guess in some senses and um yeah, I mean, Tom Tom Fletcher originally auditioned for, McFly, for Busted and then got McFly because of Busted in a way. Anyway, um, having been to like many McFly shows and concerts in my life, and this is my very first Busted show, um, I have to say McFly is much better entertainers and people are going to hate me. Like, if you're a Busted fan and you're watching this, I'm not hating them. I love Busted. I used to love Busted and I still love them and I enjoy tonight, but... Um, you know, McFly have always been like I've always just loved McFly. McFly have always been my favorite band, really, um, and I can see why. Like seeing them tonight, I can see how much better McFly are. Because <laughs> yeah, it's just like they're just much better entertainers. They jump around. They just put on a full-on great show. And I guess it, maybe it's maybe a bit harsh to judge them because this was kind of Buster's first show, and it was the first show as well. It was literally their first show together. Their very first show together after so many years, 11 years. So, oh well. It was really good though. Very good. Um, it was like a completely sold out show pretty much. 
and I I enjoyed feeling like I was young again. I, I love, I grew up listening to those songs, so yeah, that was very nice. Also, speaking of McFly, obviously McFly were there. One thing that Rebecca said, my friend Rebecca who I was with, uh, she said that she was kind of hoping that Bustard would acknowledge McFly or kind of thank McFly in a way, which when she said that, I was like, you're right, they should have really done that because if it wasn't for McFly, Bustard probably wouldn't be standing on that stage tonight. McFly really helped Bustard out. McFly really helped James and Matt out the past few years, you know. They asked them to come and be in the show with them for their 10th anniversary concert at the Royal Albert Hall. And uh, because of that, the whole McBuster thing happened. And really, like, James and Matt should be very grateful to McFly, I think. And it would have been really nice of them to say that. Just, just mention it. Just be like, yeah, you know, we're really glad to be together now, Bustard. But, like, it's been a nice few past years as well with McBuster. So thank you to the guys from McFly who are in the audience right now. It would have been such a nice thing to say. And I don't understand why they didn't do that. Oh, well. One thing I want to show you is this. So, um, basically, a couple of days ago, I post... Oh, this is from tonight. <laughs> um, I posted... What did I post? Let me just get... I posted this on my Facebook page. Um, and I was just like, oh, because I was just in, on a, in a McFly mood. So I was listening to McFly songs. I was a favourite McFly song ever. I can't believe I'll finally see this song perform live next month, blah, 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 blah. And, yeah, I, I, I put it public so anyone can see it. You don't have to be a friend on Facebook to see the, the status. And then today, I noticed that Tom Fletcher has liked this status. And I was very confused at first because, you know... It could very easily be just somebody pretending to be Tom Fletcher, you know, people who are famous get a lot of, like, fakes. Um, but then I clicked on it, firstly, and I never even got a notification for it because obviously I'm not friends with this Tom Fletcher person, whoever this Tom Fletcher is. And it's like, you can't add him, you can only follow him. This is his profile pic. Let's just go on his profile because he's like my status, so I feel like I'm allowed to go and have a look at his thing. Um, so this is his Facebook. Um, has it got a... Okay. His thing says Tom Fletcher, Tom dot Fletcher. I think it's the real Tom Fletcher, you know. Just the fact that his page is so um, like private, pretty much. You can only see this picture, and you can't even see the comments on it. Look, you can't see any comments. You can't see who's liked it. You can't see any other pictures, and you can only see one picture from his cover photos as well. Um, actually, is it going to load? I've got really bad internet, guys. But yeah, actually, let me. Oh, ooh, this is interesting. Let's have a look and see who's liked it. Okay. Yep, that, I believe. I mean, there's Mario uh, Falcone. Uh, that's uh, his brother-in-law. Um, this is very interesting. I think that's the real McFly. Just the real McFly, sorry. The real Tom Fletcher from McFly. Uh, it just seems to me that it's the real Tom. So, that is pretty cool. I have no idea how Tom found that status of mine on Facebook, unless he just typed McFly or search for McFly stuff on Facebook I don't know how you can do that and mine appeared and he decided to like it but to me it seems like it's the real Tom let me know in the comments what you think um, and if it is that's really cool thanks Tom uh, and I, I mean it was so nice to see Tom from a distance today it was kind of weird that he wasn't on stage because you know I love McFly and I cannot wait for next month when I get to see them three times and they're going to play all their songs oh my god of course I'm going to vlog that as well but that's the end of the vlog guys uh, I hope you enjoyed it leave comments down below if you're going to see Busted or if you have been tonight or just just leave comments and uh, I'll see you soon bye